At Portage Community Bank, we view ourselves as neighbors serving neighbors because we live and work in the community we serve. Banking for you, our neighbors, our community, with offices in Canton, Ravenna, Portage Community Bank, FDIC, equal housing lender. I, I, I feel, you know, I, I'll be honest with you, I caught a little off guard because pretty much we were here just to observe, known each other, Tracy Long, Tracy Wallach is a uh, ward councilwoman, council lady, I'm sorry. Uh, and <laughs> yeah. And uh, we're here just to, uh, to support, uh, support you and your fight to keep this as a senior center. That, I think, is um, the desire, at least from our standpoint. Um, right now, the issue has been what is the legal right of the group that is apparently in the process of buying or has bought the, the uh, complex. Um, while we view that as possibly legal, we also understand, in our view, it's morally reprehensible. And uh, we're going to stand uh, to the degree that we can as council people, and we are going to uh, fight with you. Uh, all the things that we can do um, within the realm of being elected officials, we will do that. Um, so any questions or concerns? That you yes, ma'am. How come they got that front door bolted now? Uh, is that legal? It's their facility. Uh, I, I, you know, we did have, we did have the fire department come down. They did look at uh, the issue of the building of the door. Uh, it is a door, and originally we thought that they had actually just boarded it up. Hi everyone. I spoke with uh, Avery Freeman on Friday, and there is a small glitch um, with filing with the clerk of courts uh, with the city of Kent. It's a twenty-five dollar fee. Uh, per person who files. And so if that is an issue for everyone, um, one of the suggestions from Mr. Friedman is that we can take it to the housing, for housing uh, director in Cleveland. So if that's what you would like to do uh, before the 10th, if you all would get all that information together at Community Action Council, we'll make sure that it gets down to Cleveland as well as filing um, in Akron with the Ohio Civil Rights Commission. Is that minus the 25 then? Minus the 25. It's free to file in Cleveland. Oh, okay. yeah. But those forms with the uh, notary have to still be completed. Right. Correct. So one of the things we would need to know is how many people want to file um, an escrow with the clerk of courts in Cuyahoga County. We would need your name and address. We can get a notary out to you and we can take care of it. Right. If you have these forms then, and if, you know, we can send a notary out here. I was just gonna. I was just gonna ask: Is there any difference filing in, with the clerk of courts in Kent or filing with the clerk of courts in Cleveland besides the fee? It's my understanding that, um, from Mr. Friedman, and I could be incorrect, but from our conversation that we spoke uh, Friday, it's my understanding that the person who's over Cleveland, I believe, is over the district anyway. It's going to end up to him anyhow. So it's just convenience. It's a matter of convenience. Right. Everybody saves twenty-five bucks. 